Here are some key takeaways in cybersecurity investment opportunities. Without any delay, let's get into the video. There was a conflict in Ukraine that the cyber attacks have raised the cyber risk worldwide. Cybersecurity is now much involved in different companies and agendas. Now, it is linked to the government and its risks have made it a protective part of such opportunities and it has now become a healthy investment in the coming years. It is believed if the war happened in Ukraine, it will further increase the use of and growth in cybersecurity by large-scale investments. It is a huge risk because Russia has raised many fears and risks regarding cyber war. If we have a look at Ukraine's history, it claims that Ukraine has been used as a testing ground for cyber attacks, and Ukraine has already received many cyber attacks from Russia. It was stated that confident cyber power engaged in a military invasion has now raised digital alerts levels worldwide. Ukraine had to face digital bullying or harassment for years. It included misunderstanding due to the spread of disinformation via the internet. Since 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea, attacks have increased. At this time, the airports, banks, power networks, and even the government was targeted. Hackers left a message on a Ukraine website that said, be afraid and expect the worst. Such unethical tasks have also threatened many international companies and investors. There was a virus introduced as Wiper Virus, which was designed to wipe computer hard drives called NotPetya, which attacked accounting software. In this video, you will get to know that the US and UK blamed Russia. For investors, the Not Petty attack in 2017 highlighted the threat of collateral damage to firms worldwide and the need for cybersecurity protection and resilience. Before moving further, it is important to know that the risks of cyber attacks have risen so much. Cyber attacks are what people can approach easily and it's easy to launch. If we talk about the public mind, then it is on the top of the list, but it is not included in military and nuclear actions. There is nothing other than cyber attacks that have created so much fear. Ukraine has boosted up its defenses against cyber attacks, and they have built a virtual army of cybersecurity professionals and hackers to attack Russia at the time it was done online and included the Russian content on social media and by reporting Russian troops and their locations. After some time, a spate of activist groups and hackers launched their DDoS attacks on the media of Russia, which claims to consist of stolen files from the Russian Defense Ministry. Western companies and individuals started to give threats. According to Reuters reports, both European and U.S. regulators have warned the banks to be prepared for imminent cyber attacks. Not Petya knocked out a radiation monitoring system, but still contaminated the Chernobyl reactor. The path situations of Ukraine and Israel have targeted the water, sewage, and chlorine plants. After some time, hackers grab their hands on the Tesla car. They take access to control the car, opening up the possibility of hacking various vehicles. In other software companies, threats do exist. Cyber targets can easily target industries or countries. If cybersecurity gets neglected, it can go well beyond data theft to encompass reputational, operational, and legal and compliance threats. The question arose here, would the West potentially use cyber tactics against Russia? For many years, many countries have used such methods to supplement traditional gatherings. The New York Times claimed that in 2018, the U.S. Cyber Command, part of the U.S. military, attacked the Russian-based internet research agency to stop the spread of disinformation. Western countries are so smart to use cyber powers to curb Russia's invasion of Ukraine. With more advanced digital integration and automation, many Western countries look more vulnerable than Russia to cyber attacks. Moreover, spillover effects could be significant. One reason behind this current restraint is why we have not seen Russia deploy digital weapons. Cyber attacks are not precision instruments. Ukraine has a popular source of IT outsourcing services. We can get confused when autonomous hacktivists complicate the picture. The potential or effort behind it is one reason why financial markets remain so volatile. Do you know many firms are increasing capital expenditure on edge computing, which brings computing power and storage closer to the sources of data, reducing the risk associated with its transmission? There should be a proper focus on cybersecurity firms. 
cybersecurity is increasing in growth and a critical and protected area of enterprise spending. They say that we consider the recent multiple compression at cybersecurity firms as rising nominal rates have weighed on high valuation stocks as an interesting opportunity to build a position. Cybersecurity is an increasingly critical and protected area of such investments and businesses. It is because the risk continues increasing. Now, the focus has moved to deep connections like PCs and mobile phones. It is that within cybersecurity firms, we prefer companies with complete security platforms over those with standalone products. Rising risk could focus policymakers' minds on setting a clearer regulatory and legal framework for cyber insurance going forward. That could pave the way for greater policy standardization and market growth ahead. Now, we will discuss some cyber attack methods and risks. Here they are, malware, spyware, viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, phishing, distributed denial of service, DDoS attack, zero days exploit, man in the middle attack, and crypto jacking. Meanwhile, cyber insurance is a small yet fast growing part of the market. They favor high quality names that benefit from secular growth towards the next generation. This is it from this video. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to like and share and comment and must subscribe.